guys, so this is like my second vlog in a row, um, so don't worry, this isn't changing into a vlog channel or anything, but I just felt like uploading two vlogs because two eventful things have just happened in my life. The last one was the braces, and now it is the end of my seventh grade year, and I thought I'd do a little video just talking about it and everything that happened, or not everything that happened, but just like overall what I thought about it, and um... I guess just what I thought about it. Um, so yeah, so um, in 7th grade, um, it was a really good year for me. It may have been like one of the best years um, I have had. And this year I made a lot of new friends. I made a lot of realizations like just about life and people and I need to adjust my camera. Okay, there, that's better. Um, so yeah. Um, so in the beginning of the year, I was not thinking this was going to be a good year because I didn't have, or I didn't think I had a good homeroom. And your homeroom matters a lot in middle school, and my school does it 6th, 7th, 8th grade as middle school. And I didn't think I'd have a good homeroom because, um, I didn't know a ton of people. Like, I knew almost everyone, well, I just, I just said two completely opposite things. I wasn't that good friends with anyone in my homeroom. And the way our school does it is your homeroom is your section and your section you do almost every class with so English social studies science and um, reading you do with them and then math and Spanish you do with other people and then you also do like art gym music all those subjects with your homeroom and um, I wasn't that good friends with anyone and I became really good friends with a um, with a pretty good amount of them um, and one of them ended up becoming one of my best 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 friends and so that was really good although we're never gonna get in the same homeroom again because we are obnoxiously loud together like it's unbelievable um, and this year um, I became close with a lot of new people a lot of people I wouldn't have expected to but that's not necessarily a bad thing I thought it was a really good thing that I became close with a ton of people um, and also I made a lot of realizations this year and I think this year was one of the first years I kind of opened my eyes and realized like more stuff like this year was kind of the year I like broke out of my shell I wouldn't say I wasn't shy I was shy last year or anything but I just like kind of wasn't being who I really was I was very like reserved not reserved like I would talk normally I wasn't shy but I wasn't wicked outgoing I was kind of hovering somewhere in the middle probably more lean towards outgoing and this year was the first year I kind of decided that I'm just going to be who I really am. And that person is a very extremely loud, obnoxious person. Um, but that's what I decided to be. And I also realized this year that popularity doesn't matter that much. Last year and a bunch of the year before, I always kind of just assumed that popular people and then like people who weren't popular were just two totally separate worlds that couldn't intermix. I realized like, what does it matter? Who cares? Who cares who's the prettiest and has the best clothes? Like, I don't care. What does this even matter? So I just kind of realized that popularity isn't all that it's cracked up to be and that it shouldn't matter whether you're popular or not just be friends who you want to be do whatever you want without worrying that you're gonna lose like popularity or whatever because honestly it doesn't matter and so that was just a something that um, kind of I don't know it was just kind of a nice thing to realize and this year I basically dropped out fell in love with this guy and he's very strange he's very weird he'd go around being like and he still does he'd be like oh I live in this really small house all my neighbors call my house the shack he's not actually poor he just said that just like don't even ask um, but I don't like him anymore um, I don't know he's just yeah, I don't know. Um, but I was just kind of, I was obsessing over him and yeah, basically the entire world knew I liked him, but I don't anymore, which is good because it is better for my mental health. Um, and yeah. So, um, another thing is I started my YouTube. And in the beginning of the year, I made this really horrible YouTube channel called CMD11200. And first of all, you can't get anywhere with a username like that because no one will remember it. And then all the videos were completely unedited. They were crap videos. I was literally using the front camera of my iPod Touch, and I didn't edit them at all. And I was just doing makeup. I spent 10 minutes talking about how to put a shimmery eyeshadow on your eye and a brow in your crease. 10 minutes about that. So I realized 
realized that those videos were just bad, so I took the channel down. And then in February, my best friend convinced me to make this channel. And so I actually made a video and I edited it and added music and subtitles and all of that. And um, it turned out being more successful than the old one, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it was going to be another failure. But I'm really glad that um, this channel got somewhere. And honestly, for a while in my YouTube life, like the first three months, I was obsessed with the number of subscribers I had. And like every day, I would just obsess and obsess and obsess over it. And then uh, right now, I'm just kind of like... I don't really care how many subscribers I have. Like, obviously, I want subscribers. Like, I want I'd rather more subscribers than less. But honestly, if I had, like, three subscribers, I'd still do videos because that's what I really like to do. And it sounds really shallow saying that I do makeup and fashion videos when I tell people because I'm just like, oh, I do makeup and fashion videos. And then people are just like, okay, then, because it sounds kind of, like, shallow out loud, but who cares? Um, It's really what I like to do, and I have a lot of fun doing it, so what does it matter what people think and my cabinet door just closed um and this year another realization I made is I don't really care what people think of me or what I do as much as I used to I still somewhat which I probably shouldn't do but I've definitely gotten better at that so um I hope this video wasn't too long or too overbearing or anything like that um but I just wanted to talk about what happened in my seventh grade year and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will do one at the end of the summer talking about my summer and my expectations for eighth grade um I'm still gonna do videos during the summer don't worry um but yeah and then I'll do one at the end of eighth grade and ninth grade and tenth grade and as long as I keep doing videos so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys later bye